Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Today, in this video, let's have a look at this brand new N1 NPAD Pro tablet with a 2K resolution and a lot of good specs. We're gonna cover everything. We're gonna split it into chapters. I think it will be easier. And guys, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Let's just start with a really, really quick unboxing. So this is the box that comes in. There's not a lot in the box. So we got the charger. This one comes with a fast charger, so thumbs up for that. Also comes with a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, user manual, and of course the tablet itself. You can have two SIM cards or one SD card and the SIM card. Let's remove this plastic. Let's have a quick look around. So it comes with a screen protector pre-installed, very lightweight guys. At the bottom here, you can see the two speakers, very thin and very light once again. On this side, there's basically nothing. This is all made of plastic. You got the rear camera there your sim card slash micro sd card slot two more speakers we're gonna cover this later on in the video and on the side you got your power button with a bit of a texture there and the volume rocker reset all next to it and down below the charging port usb type c one thing i can tell again it's yeah it's very very lightweight of course, I forgot to mention there's a front-facing camera, 5 megapixels in this case. Alright guys, so let's start straight away with the CPU, 8-core processor. This, in theory, will give you more smooth multitasking, um, the tablet will be faster, etc. I've been using the tablet for a while and so far the, the user experience has been really, really good on that matter. One of the main features for me of this tablet is its display, 10 inch display, full laminated IPS with a 2K resolution, that's 2000 by 1200 pixels. In terms of the colors, as you guys can see here, they are vibrant, crisp and the view angle is quite good. The full laminated technology minimizes the glare and reflections, enhancing the overall visual experience. With a brightness of 300 nits, the display is also bright enough for comfortable outdoor usage. So thumbs up for the display of this tablet. So far, I've been enjoying it a lot. This NPAD Pro is running the latest Android 12 OS. From what I've been testing, I can tell it's very snappy, very fluid. Um, there's no delays on the commands. The touch screen is quite responsive as well. Yeah, there's not too much to fault with this OS, as you guys can see here, um, there's no major issues, which provides a very smooth user-friendly interface. I do like the look of it. On top of that, he has white vine Google L1 support, but unfortunately, uh, and Netflix, you cannot watch HD nevertheless. That's the max resolution you will get 960 by 540. Quality is good, but it's not HD. In terms of apps from factory, there's not a lot pre installed in this tablet, which I like a lot. Very clean, no um, trash apps, so thumbs up for that. Let's now cover the storage. This one has 128 gigs of internal storage, which is quite a lot. And you can also use a micro SD card to bump that to one terabyte. So storage is not an issue with this tablet. In terms of RAM, this one has eight gigs of DDR4 RAM. In terms of battery, this one has a 6,600 milliamps hour battery, which should provide all day usage and according to the manufacturer, you should be able to watch eight hours of video. I haven't tried that to be honest, and if you play a lot, expect the battery to drain faster. But please note that the quick charger will help get the battery to 100% pretty fast. Let's now talk connectivity, which is another strong point of this tablet. This one supports 4G, which means you can use your SIM card data outside to navigate, and while inside, 
This one has dual Wi-Fi band, the 2.4 in the 5 GHz band, which provides you fast and stable internet connectivity. Myself, from experience of being using this tablet, I had zero issues using the internet, which is quite fast. Okay guys, now let's talk about these two cameras, rear camera 13 megapixels, front camera 5 megapixels. Well, this is not the strongest point of this tablet, the cameras are not the best, let's put it that way, they are very, uh, very basic for basic use, so it is what it is, don't expect super quality from these cameras. If you want to play some games with this tablet, you won't be disappointed. The powerful CPU, the high resolution display, 8 gigs of RAM, all combined will give you a good gaming experience. As you guys can see from these clips, the games are smooth, fluid, without any noticeable lag or frame drops. The touch is responsive to the controls, and of course, the four speakers will help having a nice gaming experience. And speaking of speakers, let's give it a test. Yeah guys, as you guys can hear, these are quite powerful, having four, it will give that surround, well, kind of feeling. But yeah, I do, I do appreciate the sound quality of this tablet. Alright guys, let's wrap the video, short review this time, but I think we cover everything. If you want me to test anything in particular, please do let me know down below in the comments. Overall, good tablet with an amazing display, 2K resolution, amazing colors, no complaints whatsoever good for YouTube or watch some movies. In terms of connectivity, dual Wi-Fi band and you still have that 4G to use your SIM card and on top of that Bluetooth 5.0. Sound quality, very good as well. So yeah, I'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can check it out the current price. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and guys, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Like always, stay tuned for more Thank you for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one.